the Cleveland Welding Company clunker. Rode it to the shop today. This is the first time really I've ridden the bike since getting it back. You might remember my van was stolen a few years ago, four years ago, and this bike was in the van. And so when they recovered the van, the bike was gone as well as a tote of tools. I did get some other things back that were still in the van. And, you know, this is, uh, again, it's Cleveland Welding Company frame. It had, I made these gussets. I made the templates for the gussets, and I had Chad Logan, Mr. Tick Bicycle Products, uh, braze them into place. Really toughens up the frame. He had a lot of brazing here at the dropouts. You'll notice the parts were kind of pretty much top of the line parts from back in the day. <clears throat> made a Schwinn front derailleur from a 10 speed work it's got the uh, the cool pedals everybody wants <laughs> matter of fact the guy that bought the bike he uh, he saw it on offer up for $85 and picked it up it had a different fork on it it had the quadra gray fork uh, that thing was spent when it got back to me so I put this old RockShox elastomer on there and it's working great, the Indy XC. I have the original shock. I want to get some elastomers and rebuild it. I also picked up another Quadra fork that's an inch and an eighth headset. Uh, so I'm thinking about having Chad turn some cups for me so I can just run the inch and an eighth. These bars are off the Nishiki Pacific. Uh, I have that frame right here actually. I'm, I'm 50 bucks for that frame. It's a 20 inch triangle frame. Pretty good frame, steel. The levers <clears throat> were off a high-end Raleigh, like early 90s mountain bike. The pedals and the cranks that came off the same bike. I forget, I think these came off of an early Schwinn Sierra, the shifters, as are the grips. You guys know these grips. The seat was from Europe. Lars, uh, no longer with us from Switzerland, sent me this seat. Seat post is by Del Coffer when he was really getting into things. Now, it's interesting today, I noticed, because I only really rode this on one good mountain bike trail with the fellas one time, and man, I'll tell you, it held the trail like it was on rails going down the mountain. But I didn't really notice riding it going up, because I wasn't, mainly I was pushing. And uh, you don't need a layback on this particular frame, because you can see the angle of that seat post. So this is one of those situations where your feet are out in front of you when you're pedaling. And I don't mind it. It's just something you have to kind of get used to if you're not used to that sort of thing. <clears throat> what do we have here? It's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five times three. So it's a 15 gear bike. More than enough. I mean, people are getting out of hand here these days with the gearing. But uh, your cockpit shot super comfortable bars man anyhow this thing is it just really does ride like a dream everything functions great there's a dent in this tube here that was there when it came to me that's just how it is again the pad is here because we brazed uh put the bosses on for the wire or you know for the rear derailleur here under here and this is where i grab at the carrot go upstairs if it was me again I mentioned this before. I think on this particular style frame, I would put all the cables on top of the top two. I'd like to leave this open in case you want to put a bag in here. <clears throat> Maybe even find a whole tank or something. That'd be kind of cool. But uh, definitely don't want to do that. And I don't, I'm never a fan of these lines going straight. That's why I put this here. I think, again, the other thing I do is I just put loops and then run full uh, cable housing to follow the curve of... The tubes that's just my tip on that old school brakes cool stop pads which is good actually i'm running old school brake pads on the rear anyhow just thought you guys might dig on it <clears throat> seeing it really does ride nice maybe maybe it won't fall over while i'm filming i don't know
So I'll be riding the bike to the shop. I got to get in shape again. Anyhow, I've not been riding. I've been driving every day with the van because I was pretty much doing work on the van. And uh, I think the van is done for now, the Astro van, just for a little while. Um, I've got to work on a woodworking project. Got the joiner planer out here. I'm be doing some resawing today. Got to clean that off. Have to uh, resaw these longer pieces <clears throat> today. Got to clean that up. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking get that done. And then little by little at the end of the day, possibly this, the 20 inch bike is done. I could bring that home, but the, the, the 29 er back there has to get some work done to it. You know, I've got the 62 double straight bar, 10 speed I'm working on. I'd like to get these things done. And I'm thinking now I kind of teased you guys with this a few weeks ago. I think this 24 inch frame with the 26 inch wheels with this kit on here, can't get it. Don't ask me where to get it. They're not around anymore. I think about doing this, this is crazy high bottom bracket. I pulled a bottom bracket sealed bearing, crazy full aluminum setup. It's really interesting off of like a late nineties BMX with 180 millimeter profile cranks. I think I'm going to put them on this. This is going to be a kooky, kooky build but i think it could be fun so yeah i think at the end of the day as i have time when i get to a stopping point with the wood i might put 30 minutes an hour in uh, from time to time on some of these other builds but uh, just thought you guys appreciate seeing the cleveland welding company clunker again super cool super cool build real happy i have this thing's just been hanging uh, from the ceiling in my kitchen since I got it back and I just I looked at it today I was like that's the bike man I'm just gonna ride that for now for a little while enjoy it I mean what's the point of having them if you're not riding them right so have a good day be good to one another pray for the people in Ukraine uh, yesterday I was on the phone with some vet pals of mine I spoke to quite a few people I was getting real serious about <laughs> wanting to fly to <laughs> Poland and getting to the border over there but uh, after talking to some of my pals they pointed out some things and i'm like well yeah okay i see that i don't know that they need the people so much they need to support the ammo they need the world stage to step up they need all countries especially ours to stop buying oil from russia you know that sort of thing because that's we're literally fueling that war funding it by buying oil from uh the guy that's invading the country, which is retarded. So, uh, yeah, kind of crazy. <laughs> Again, have a good day. Be good to each other. Bye.